Welcome to the GCN Tech Show. It's episode 248. Coming up this week, we've got super light handlebar, super light stem, some carbon wheels for under a thousand pounds, a recall from Zavello, as well as the bike vault. Of course, your comments of the week. Oh, fully packed show. We've also got the lead story this week, which we're talking about what are the biggest tech fails that presenters have made. Yeah, this one should be a good crack. Surely you've never made any. Have you? Nah, not me. Loads. Let's kick off with last week's poll, where we asked you the question, what is the group set of the people? Is it Tiagra or is it the 105? Now, a lot of people got in touch and with a 51% win, it was actually Tiagra. Mechanical shifting. Mechanical shifting. People love mechanical shifting. I, I voted for that as well, actually. Yeah, I, I actually yeah? was thinking 105, but... Oh but it's kind of changed my mind how 105's shot up in price. Yeah, that's kind of changed, I think, everyone's minds yeah. a little bit. Mm. Um, okay, I'm glad we cleared that up. Anyway, on to our main talking point this week. So, with Ollie being away, you stepped in, help us out, thanks very much. Everyone loves it when you're on the tech show. I, I don't know why. Why are you a tech wizard, <laughs> aren't you? No, actually, to be fair, I, I think it's fair to say you're probably not really a tech wizard. Really? But it's always great having you on the show. Alex, I thought I, thought I was. What? Yeah, well, that's... That's okay. good. No, anyway, no, I, it's fair to say, look, tech doesn't interest me as much as it does yourself, okay. Ollie, and a lot of people out there. If my bike has round wheels and not square ones, I feel like it's good to go. But nevertheless, yeah. I have made some tech fails, which brings us on nicely to our main talking point. Yeah. I think you should kick us off, because you've probably tried more things than I have. Yeah, I've, um, I've compiled a short little list, actually, it was quite hard to slim the list down because there's yeah. been loads of tech fails that I've made in the past. So first tech Doesn't fail. Surprise me. Um, the first time I ever tried waxing a chain, you know, trying to make it ultra efficient, a little bit faster, I used the completely wrong wax. So I put the chain in a pot of hot wax, took it out, it dried, and it just was basically encased in like a concrete like wax, and mm. the chain was just pretty much ruined. It's like mummified. Yeah, like it That's dried. Something. It dried that solid. You could hold the chain straight out, and it just didn't move. That's not going to make things fast, Alex, just let you know. I couldn't even put it back on the bike. Um, go on then, hit us with a tech uh, fail. So, well, in lockdown, I did. Yeah. I, I made a tall bike. There's a clip of it there. Um, <laughs> uh, and I actually tried to weld the bottom bracket yeah. to the seat post of my other bike, but I didn't realise that the seat post was actually aluminium and welding steel onto aluminium. So anyway, I got on the bike, rode down the hill, and it's cracked off. And, it's anyone, tall bike. anyone that's watching and knows the slightest bit about welding is going to know that you don't try and weld too. It was my first time welding. I almost, I also welded my hand to the. Yeah. Anyway. That's like a double tech fail. Um, okay. Next on my list, my next tech fail is a lot of these go when I was a lot younger. Anyway, so this was I reckon I was about fifteen. I got my first ever set of heat moldable insoles. I thought these were going to be the real deal. So excited! Ripped them out of the packet. Glance at the instructions, oven on, put them in the oven. When I went back after like 10 minutes, get the insoles out, there was basically just a melted pile of insole in the oven. Turns out, in my excitement, I'd misread the packet, set the oven to degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Right. Yeah, it was like twice as hot as it needed to be. Yeah, that's, that is a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> Go on, Proper you top that? melted insoles. <laughs> Love that. Uh, I actually tried to make a disc wheel. What? Yeah, because I wanted to get that little bit faster. Um, so I assumed if you had wrapped cling film around the spokes, technically yeah. you'd make a disc wheel. Anyway, that didn't end too well. The cling film was just a genuine nightmare. What a waste. What are you going to wrap your sandwiches in? Well, that's it. I actually tried to wrap them two, two at a time and then tried to... Uh, don't try it. Actually... Yeah, that, I, I don't think that was ever No, it just all came off and then I was and there's like a trail of clean fill behind me. Anyway, nightmare. Talking of wheels, actually, this is my third tech fail that I've written down on my list. Um, again, I must have been 16, 17. Young I had man. A set, a young, young a lad. A young Alex Payton. Just a couple of years ago. Imagine. <laughs> so I had a set of carbon rims and I was trying to build them up so I could put them on bike and use them. So basically I built them up, some new hubs, new spokes, and then when I was starting to true the wheel up, put a load of tension in the spokes, I got way too carried away, far too much tension, and effectively just pulled the spoke nipple through the carbon rim, yeah. pretty much rendering it all useless. 
And then once one went, I started to try and chew the wheel up, put more tension in the rest of them until basically almost all of the spokes were just pulled through the carbon. Ding, room. ding, 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 ding. Yeah, what a waste of time, effort, and money. Um, I was going to say, you and had, I didn't have much you money had, back you then. You had carbon wheels at 16. I've done well. Oh, they were second hand. I bought them second hand. Well. <laughs> uh, oh, still on wheels, actually. Yeah. I actually watched a GCN show back when I even started, years and years before I... You uh, actually watched it? Actually you say started. it like you don't watch it now. Well, I didn't before. You're an avid viewer. I am, it's true. <laughs> and, uh, and I saw that uh, Cy put grass in the tyre if you run out of inner tubes or gas uh, and you're out and about. Anyway, yeah. I was on an autumnal ride. And yeah, it was you wet do. and uh, the leaves were on the floor. Sat on, on, you know, going, haven't got an inner tube. Classic, yeah. always done. Classic you, ill-prepared. Ill-prepared. Yeah. And, uh, and then, so I put leaves, wet, soggy, dead leaves into this thing, it took me hours, and then it just worked so bad, it was like whoom, whoom, I'm not surprised. Whoom. But it did get me home, so technically... Yeah, I would call it a half fail. Half fail, okay, um, I'll take that. That's enough from us, I think everyone, I've, everyone else at home has probably got their own tech fails, so you want to let us know in the comments section down below, share with everybody. Yeah. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got some tech fails from other GCN presenters. I've asked them all to film something, let's play it now, shall we? Cue Can't. the VT. I've had my fair share of tech fails over the years, that's for sure, but a particularly irritating one recently was where I uh, made a seemingly innocent mistake whilst replacing the inner cable on my dropper post. Yeah, I got a dropper post. Um, and basically, I just pulled the inner cable straight out without thinking about the cable outer that was routed internally through my frame. And basically, I was in a position where I couldn't re-thread the cable inner because I couldn't poke it down into the cable outer, but I couldn't pull the cable outer through the frame. It was completely stuck, and I, because I couldn't pull it, I could only poke it, if you see what I mean. Um, anyway, to cut a long story short, it's basically a two minute job turned into about an hour long job because I then had to remove my cranks, remove my bottom bracket, then grab the inner cable inside the frame, push it back up inside the seat tube so I could refit the inner cable put it the dropper post, then refit my bottom bracket, and then refit my cranks. So, uh, yeah, not going to be a mistake making that mistake again, that's for sure. There's some good ones in there. Oh, incredible. There you go. We're Love not it. it's not just us then who make the tech fails. No. It's all the presenters. And you guys out there. So we look forward to seeing them conversation below. Right, what's next? Um it's now time for hot tech. Hot and oh. spicy tech, to be honest. Oh. Go on, you kick it off. What have we got? Right, we're kicking off with one from Pro, actually, yep. and this is their super light version, the SLs. Now, they've come out with a bar and stem combo. Yep. Now, this bar and stem combo is lighter than its predecessor. It's coming in 75 grams lighter. Wow, that's which quite is a light. substantial saving. Yeah. So, the stem starts from just 92 grams in the shortest size. That's a little stubby 70 mil one. It's constructed from 7075 aluminium, uses titanium bolts. Yep. You've got plus or minus six degrees angle on your stem. You do And um, it's available in inch and a quarter or inch and an eighth steerer size to suit different bikes. Looks very smart. Mm. Moving on to the bars though. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is actually as well got even lighter. Yeah. We've got 154 grams. For the narrow stop. For the bars, for the narrow stop, so that's 38 because yeah. you can get them for 38. To 44. Yeah. Uh, they're made from unidirectional T1100 carbon fiber. Yeah. Which is a well, solid layer. Yeah, nice and lightweight. And they've also got 130 millimeter drop on them. Shall I tell everyone the reach? Because I've got it right in front of me. God, hit me 80 with the reach. millimeter reach, as well as having a short reach. You can add some Speedy Boy little clip on aero glasses. Uh, let's take a look at these. Oh, these are something else. They're cool. They're like little stubby ones. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure if it's for me. I guess uh, I've seen a lot of people using these on gravel bikes. Probably not legal in the uh, UCI regs, but... Um, um, yeah, but and that's enough cool. handlebar chat yeah. for, for one week anyway. So next up, take a look at these Speedy Boy wheels. You love when I say this word, don't you? Speedy Boy! Yeah. Yeah. Um, so carbon fiber wheels for £1,000. Check these out. Actually, the details of these scope cycling wheels, now right 
in your inbox. Yeah, I don't know who was responsible for that, but Slid whoever you are, DMs. thanks very much. We thought we'd share them with everybody else. Yes. So details of these, as you've mentioned, 42 millimeter deep carbon fiber rim. They're an all road slash gravel wheel set is kind of what they're marketed as. Yeah. 21 millimeter internal rim width. Now in terms of your tire size, do you know what that is, or should yes. I take it on? No, so you can ride 28 to 32 on the road. millimeter road tires, yeah. and then 35 to 57 millimeter gravel tires. So big chunky boys. Providing those can fit into your frame, there's some big, big. Group. I can't get my words out. There's some big gravel tires. Oh no! <laughs> Alex is speechless. I think I was glitching. <laughs> um, they come with tubeless tape and <laughs> valves installed, and on the face of it, these seem to be priced very um, reasonably. Oh, I have to agree. Under a thousand pounds or euros. Fantastic. We've got an update now from Zwift, which I think is really great news because they've actually added a hand cycling option into Zwift in-game, which opens up even more scope for more cyclists and athletes to get onto the platform. I think this is really cool. I'm with you on this. Mm. Now, there's a couple of things you need to take into account if you're going to choose this option in-game. So in terms of the drafting, this is in relation to. So an upright bike cannot draft a hand cycle. Kind Which of makes, is fair. Kind of makes sense. A hand cycle can draft another hand cycle. Makes perfect yeah. sense. And a hand cycle is only going to get half of the drafting effect if you're drafting a traditional upright bike. Ah. So a couple of bits to take into account, but... Um, that's, that's pretty, really pretty useful similar to the real Swift. world options. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then finally in Hot Tech this week, Cervelo have issued a recall on a large range of their bikes. This is in relation to the stem. So let me take you through some of the details here. So according to Cervelo, I'll take them from their website, the issue is with the stem faceplate on the ST31LT stem, which could lead to the handlebar slipping. So the advice from Cervelo and everybody, I think, in, re in relation to this, is to contact your Cervelo dealer or your local bike shop that deals with Cervelos, and they can advise you on how to get this checked and replaced if necessary, and make sure everybody's safe. Yeah. And okay. ultimately, we want everyone to be safe. We want so, everyone uh, to be safe. So yeah, do check it. That's it for this week's hot and spicy tech. Let us know in the comments section below what you thought of all this new tech. Yeah. Because there's a lot. Do you know what we've got next? What? Comments of the week. Oh yeah! Now, you haven't done the tech show when we've been doing comments of the no, week. No, new. It? It's a new edition. Yeah. Now, we don't have an official intro or jingle to it, so what we have to do every week is make it up ourselves. Right. And that job has fallen to you. So, three, two, one. Cue the jingle. Welcome to Comments of the Week. Oh, voice of an angel. Fantastic. Um, That's embarrassing, isn't it? No, I think that was really good. You ready? A lot better than I could do. I've, yeah. only, I've only done it once and it was awful. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Right. <laughs> First comment is from Jeffrey Williams. They say, please do not let slash make Alex ride a bike in a thong. No one wants to see that. Several years ago, Cy rode in a Speedos and apparently Jeffrey's still in therapy because of this. Yeah, this is No amazing. one needs that. Now, I I commented on last week's tech show on this point because I feel so strongly on it. Ollie basically threw me under the bus and said, oh yeah, if like 5,000 people like the video, Alex is going to do the hill climb in a thong, which clearly I'm not going to, am I? So Are you not? No. You, you wouldn't? No. Why? Why? No one needs to see that. No, no one needs to see that. I don't want to ruin everyone's day. Yeah, you would ruin everyone's day. Um, so anyway, I commented saying, please stop liking this video. Instead, show your appreciation by writing a comment. I like that. That was nice. Playing it smart. Yeah, playing um, it Next comment is Imagine from... Imagine Ollie. In the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think of that. No, that'd be next comment, who have we got? We've got Luke, um, who comes in with a big smiley face. Oh, I, I've got to say, using the emojis to describe Ollie. Oh, okay, here we so go. So we've got Ollie, when dis when not discussing graphene, looks like this. Yeah. And then we've got Ollie, when he is discussing graphene, looks, looks like, like this. this. Which um, is just added glasses. Basically. Yeah, just glasses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, under episode two of the Super Light Bike Build, we've got Santiago. Now, dear GCM, please keep making fun videos like this. I'm greatly enjoying Alex's creativity and ingenuity. But the best thing is seeing things these awesome used parts being recycled into a fun new project. They can't wait for the next one. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you everybody in this. Comments in. I, I did. <laughs> you, <laughs> you did, really. I just yeah. picked out the yeah. ones. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Alex is great. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and no, but on a serious note, I'm glad that people are enjoying the like some of the build series we've been doing. I've been really been enjoying it, actually. Trying to personally. keep to like 
a bit of a tighter budget, not sort of blowing all of our money on fancy parts. Um, so yeah, cool, keep the comments coming. We'll pick the best ones out next week and I'll pick ones that say all my videos are great again. Yeah, <laughs> Right. Plan. It's now time for the bike vault. Yeah. Right, now time for the bike vault. Um, in this part of the show, you get to vote on your bike, decide whether they're nice or super nice, and if Hank and I think it's super nice, we ring the bell. I think the bell needs a bit of warming up. It's yeah. actually early today, it's only just gone half past eight in the morning. I I just, that's what I was, I was a little bit, <laughs> little bit of worse for wear, so I was like, I can't do yeah. it too loud because it's 7am. So, um, you upload your bike pictures into the GCN app, people can play along in the app, and then we play along in the show. So first up is the most super nice bike from last week, and it's a tandem, like you say. This thing's incredible. This thing is incredible, it just gives me blooming nightmares. Oh yeah, riding the tandem. No, I, I just can't, mm. I just don't get on with tandems. It's just not my thing. I think I've just had a baptism of fire because <laughs> yeah. I tried to do Land's End John O'Groats on my second ride on a tandem, but nevertheless, what I we gonna, it's called a good bike. What are we gonna do, vote it super nice? I'm inclined I mean, you, to go. your shout because I've got PTSD when it comes to tandems. <laughs> I'm going to super nice it just for that reason. Oh, fair, fair. Um, first entry this week is from... Shreddy Mercury. Shreddy Mercury. I like That's that. incredible. Description. Very comfortable, very fast, clean. Love it. Love those magnetic bottles as well. So this is a Scott Addict Gravel. Nice picture, although definitely not held up with a shadow stand. Slightly disappointing. No, but I've got to say, all those colours fit with that Scott, don't they? It's like an autumnal picture. I love that. Gravel tyres. Yeah. Tan walls. Valves aligned. Nice in, zip, it's zip It's in the deeps. correct wheels. Um, correct gear, sorry. I, I'm One inclined by. to super, super nice that. I, have you tried those magnetic bottles? No. I'm I'd not like sure. Try those. Not sure how well they're going to go on a gravel bike. Well, oh, that's well. what I was thinking. Mm. We're going to super nice this? Yes. Finally woken up the whole uh, building. Welcome the, <laughs> to the tech show. I see the bell's got warmed up now. Yeah. Next in is from MKSK Chun85. You did well there. I've annihilated that name. You Sorry. Did well it's there. a specialized yeah. Crux Pro from the year 2022. Let's see it. Nice. Boom! Another gravel bike. Right, that's we've got Valves Matt, aligned. Matt Navy Grey with a gold specialized. Yeah. Tan walls or brown walls. We've got, we've got one by setup. We've got a SRAM yep. Force. You see it close enough, all right, there? <laughs> Getting old and in my glasses. <laughs> I like it. I uh, like it. I'm going to super nice it. You yeah, super go on, nice hit it. super nice that. Slightly more subdued. Yeah. Also, you know, I like how the valves line up because that's always, it's always easy to forget. Yeah. Who have we got next? We've got next, we've got a 2021 Giant Defy. Advanced 2. Who's it from? From McEwen's. Mm. Now we've upgraded the RS510 crank with the 105 crank set and a 4 I, 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 I power meter. Upgrade the wheels too to oh, make nice. it super light with the WR45s with the DT Swiss 350 hubs. Say so they've shaved off close to two pounds. GP5000 tires. Mm. Well, let's have a look at this thing. I really like the colour of that. I mean, that looks smart, doesn't it? it is. Would you say it's pearl white or just a normal white? I think it is pearl white, yeah. for honest. Oh, I like that. Cranks are aligned, as you say, in the correct gear. Valves, are the valves aligned? I can't quite tell. Yeah, the uh, valves are aligned. Yeah, top. Oh yeah, I see. It's 12 o'clock. Uh, I think I'm going to super nice it. Yeah, I mean, it's clean, isn't it? That looks good. Yeah. Background looks cool. Hey, that's super nice. Yeah. Right. Next up, we've got M. Westbrook with... Uh, Sensor Gila Evo Kangas. Talk about budgets though, this is can't quite Can't sound a good familiar one. with the brand. Oh yeah, Great Valley Carbon Bike at mm. £1,650 with an old Tegra group set. Carbon frame, internal routing, deep carbon wheels, carbon aero bars. God, all the good stuff and it weighs 8.2 kilograms. Q-ring as well. Hmm, fair. What do you I like, I like how the Pirelli Zero tyres are matching. It's with, orange. With, yeah, with the uh, with the orange bike. I didn't know that was a thing. No, nor did I. Wow, you learn something every day. And nice deep vision wheels. I mean, that looks fast it for a does bike that look weighs, fast. you know, fifteen hundred quid. Yeah. Um, I'm struggling to pick fault with it. No, one thing, one thing, on. I've it's just bugging me ever so slightly. Go on. Valves Very wonder. long valves. Yeah, but you got to. You got deep wheels, mate. Oh, all right, yeah, you make a good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't go for short ones. I don't want to poke out the top. 
Uh, next up is... Stefan. Yeah. It's the new bard tape date with matching valves. I get Right. <laughs> Grail AL7. The colours are incredible on this. This looks like a blooming unicorn. I like that though. Look the bar at tape's it. great. That bar tape is wowzers. I think it's it's different enough from all of the bikes that it, looks, it works. Yeah, it I can think you... it stands out. Tan wall. I love tan wall tyres on mm. a bike. I think that's so cool. Purpley valve caps to match the bar tape, as you say. I like oh that. yeah, wow. Yeah, hit that super nice, Alex. Super nice? Live that, love that, right? Have they all been, is that the last one? They've all been super nices. A high five. Oh, wow. Didn't hold back on that, did you? No, nah, because that, that deserved a super nice <laughs> high five. Well, thank you everyone for sending in your bikes into the bike vault because I've got to say, this week has been an absolute banger. That's the first time I can think of that we've super nice everything. Maybe we've just been too kind. Um, the tech show's been incredible. Hank, thanks for joining us. I've loved every single minute of it. Oh, he's too kind. Hopefully, we'll have you back soon. Yeah, Ollie, go it. on holiday Absolutely again. Loved it. <laughs> Ollie, get out. I'm back. <laughs> right, see right. you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.